It is just a beautiful, peaceful day here on the bayou. It really is. But that is not what this video is about. I was doing some uh, long-term food storage, and I hit on a on an idea, and it became a project. And I'd like to see what you think about it. So this was the idea: to come up with a a bin, a a, a bucket, a container of long-term food storage that was geared toward a specific number of people for a specific amount of time for a specific place and that place is here and the idea is to put together some staples that when combined with um, harvested proteins mostly from the water that means fish and greens from maybe maybe the garden but maybe not the garden maybe from from out there you know poke salad and and dandelions and and even beautyberry there's a lot of stuff around here that is edible but once combined with those those uh, uh proteins and greens would suffice this number of people for this amount of time so i really i really looked at the staples and this is what I've come up with for my first go around. I've got I've got two of them done, and um, I've got, I've got the second one out here just to show that they do fit into a bucket. So this is what I've come up with. Um, I've got two pounds of flour, two pounds of sugar, two pounds of cornmeal, um, about a pound of coffee, and almost two pounds of salt. Those are my staples. And that's, you know, self-rising flour. You don't have to add anything. And my idea here is that with a little bit of know-how in the kitchen, you can make a lot of food there. And, of course, being a southerner, I had to include cornmeal. Um, and that when you combine that with the proteins that I talked about from the water, um you know, maybe maybe other proteins. I mean, hell, you might be killing rabbits or rats. Proteins. And with greens that you can either get from the garden or even out there. And then a few other items that I've got enough food here for one person for a month. Okay? And I'm looking here at two meals a day. And like I said, this isn't everything. This would be supplemented with hunting, fishing, gathering, okay? So what I've got here is I already showed you the, the, the basics, the, the staples. And then in addition to that, I've got three different bags of, of beans. I've got a bag of rice. I've got some instant potatoes. i got some uh, oats, and these are just the regular oats, so you have to cook them. And I've even thrown in, because I just happen to have them, some ration bars, those long-term food storage ration bars, and this was kind of an experiment. I did some crackers. I did some saltines there. And over here, I did some of the uh, townhouse crackers. I just really kind of want to see how they did. But if you look at this, you've got, and, and these two guys here, you've got 30 days worth of breakfast. And of course, you're combining it you know, with your sugar and stuff like that to, to cook your oats. And then over here, you've got, about 30 days worth of a very meager, meager supper. But you got these staples here. And when you've got staples, I mean, you can be, you know, I can get, there's wild um, uh, um, onions out there. I can make corn dodgers. I can make my own bread. Now, it'll probably be, you know, a, a, a flat bread or, or some of that dough on a stick but if you've got the skills to go camping and if you've got some some uh, outdoor cooking skills and I do and I'm sure most of you do too you're just limited to your um, to your imagination I mean imagine you you catch a fish a day and it's not hard to do out here a fish a day and you got fish and greens going into this rice with some beans it's not a bad meal it's not a bad meal at all. So there, there's my idea. That would do two meals a day 
for about 30 days for one person. So what does that mean? That means that for if you got four people, you got a week's worth of food here. Maybe a little more because I'm not I'm not really including my staples there. And you've got the important things. You've got coffee, which is important. You've got sugar. You've got the salt. Um, you know, combine that with the flowers, and you can do a lot of stuff. And let me say, this costs next to nothing. I mean, this is inexpensive food when you go to the grocery store. This is some inexpensive stuff, okay? Um, so it's just, like I said, it's an experiment. I'm, I've done two of them. I've... And you'll notice that I've um, um, vacuum sealed just about everything, uh, everything but the coffee. I didn't do it. And I'm going to put them all in there, put them in a Mylar bucket, and I'm just going to put it away. And the idea there is I could give this to a neighbor. I could give this to somebody I ran into and say, here, you know, take this home. This will take care of you for a month or take this home to your family this will see you through a week or more and I really like the idea of that and while I have been storing you know large large bags of rice or large bags of oats into buckets I'm really looking at doing this instead is it as cheap as going with what's just a couple giant bags of rice no but it's still cheap. It's still cheap. And um, I guess you'd call it diversification. This bucket is going to be much more diversified than my buckets of oats or my buckets of rice. And I just think, I think it's not a bad idea. Anyway, I'm interested in seeing what other people think. I'm not an expert on this food, long-term food storage stuff. I'm just kind of, I, uh, I do it. But I, I don't do a lot of it, and I, I don't get all you know. I don't I don't get all uh, uh, crazy about it, and I'm really interested to see what others think. Hey, thanks for watching. Oh 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 oh! Don't go away. You know what? I need to tell you something. I'm gonna go one more week on the contest. If you look at my last video, that's not really a contest. It's a giveaway. You don't really have to do anything other than than say I want your deuce gear. But uh, if you go to that video on my deuce gear, and if you want that old deuce gear, read the instructions. You just got to say on that video in the comments, I want your old deuce gear, and you're in the running. I'm probably going to cut that thing off somewhere this week, and then next weekend I'm going to find the time to come up with some goofy, goofy way of giving away that deuce gear. Again, thanks for watching.